Well, it's the first day of our trip and I'm out at the lake. This is Hicks Lake up by um, Arison Hot Spring. It's a little lake in a mountain valley in the park called Sasquatch Park. It's a nice place to camp, good place to swim. And I like to come here. We come here very often in the summertime. So first of all, I'm going to do a sketch this morning and I found myself a nice little spot. I like to sketch things that are along the shoreline. And this is kind of an interesting shoreline place here. And I also found that I've got a nice shady space to sit. There's a cool breeze coming off the water, so that'll keep the bugs away. And uh, it's going to be a good spot to sit here this morning and do some sketching. Here's our little spot. Max is already chewing on a strick and he's getting comfy. He'll be running around and playing a bit in the sand here. And I'm all set up. There was a, a little uh, sandpiper here peeping away and Max was chasing him around and hopefully I can get some pictures of him pretty soon. Okay, time to get to work. <clears throat> to start off with, I take a pencil and do a brief outline of what I'm going to do. I leave all the detail for my pen work. I find that it gives my work a little more character uh, to have it spontaneous rather than to be tracing over lines. So at this point, I'm just doing an outline of the main parts of what I'm going to, to draw and getting a feel for what things are going to be like. I've got enough of the picture started that I'm ready to do a bit of painting. And what I'm going to plan on doing is because there's leaves up in here in the branches, I'm going to paint some of those leaves and then only some of them will have some ink on them. I just thought I'd let you have a look at my setup here. I have a little water dish and it's magnetic and as you can see I put a magnet inside this board so that it sticks there. Here is my little paint tray. Uh, I've used one of these water filled brushes, although the brush itself is empty right now. Uh, since I have water here, I don't need to have water in the brush. And a good little tip is put your cap right in here so that you don't lose it. I have a clamp to clamp the page open because uh, with the breeze blowing, the page is starting to uh, flip up on me. Anyway, I'm all set to go and uh, my uh, rocks and moss. I am going to move the water a little bit closer. As you notice, the rock, the water is a little ways away from my rock, but in my picture, it's going to be much closer. Okay, I'm going to get back to work now. You can see that I like to paint in layers and it's very easy to do when you're outdoor sketching as that breeze off the water dries things quickly and allows for several uh, glazing layers to go on top. As you uh, watch me paint, you can see that I mix my colors on the paper quite a bit, which is a very efficient way to do outdoor sketching. Following this painting session here, I'll give you a quick critique of some of the things I see in my picture and at the same time, when I go back to the campsite, I'll probably do some final touch-ups. And at the end, I'll show you the finished picture after I did some final touch-ups. Well, I finished my picture, and yes, I did have fun with it. I played around with, as you can see, I played with some of those leaves, and I just did some very abstract kind of leafy shapes in there. But I really kind of tightened it up because I really wanted this to be more my focal point. And of course, still need to do some work on water. This is definitely something I wasn't quite familiar with how to do. But I hope you enjoyed this little outing with me today. It was a lot of fun. Here's all my gear again. And here's my picture. And of course, the sun is now really nice and warm, and I think maybe I'll have to go swimming. Have a good day, and don't forget to come go out sketching this summer. Wendy teaches outdoor sketching classes in the summer, and she teaches in her studio and online throughout the year. Wendy produces original work in pencil and in watercolor. She completes commission work, particularly pet portraits, and produces cards and prints from some of her work.